What's going on? What Merle was doing to those girls up at the club, he deserves to pay. Hold up over at Perlis. What I hear, he's pissed as all hell. <laughs> Wish I could see that asshole's face right about now. Just so we're on the same page. Once I'm in there, I'm killing any motherfucker who gets in my way. Ain't no one shedding tears for those pricks. You do what you think's best. I'll be seeing you, Laveau.
down and low. Can you send supplies to Delray Hollow? We are directly. Still can't believe one of those jigaboo motherfuckers has the balls to come after us. Think they would have learned after right, Sammy. Just the say, local color. Show they upset. Besides, don't see any of them around now, do you? I hear there ain't huh? no stop. Run, bitch! Just strolled on through here without a care in the world. Do it! You gotta plug him! What you gonna do, nigger? This. Dixie motherfuckers are out of pearlers. Have your men come lock it down. out of the church, and Richie will have to respond. In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. Uh, 
There are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, as a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. She watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. She shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It's impossible to know what's true. Surprised to see you out here. <laughs> Decided to get some fresh air. Yeah. That heroin the Dixie Mafia's been selling? It's run out of there by a man named Charlie Kincaid. Meaning all the other dealers around here kick up to him. Charlie stays away if he can help it, so you're gonna have to put the squeeze on him. I flagged a couple of his guys. You get them to talk, they'll tell you how to get to him. Now, from what I hear, Charlie's only in this for the money. He's not a true believer like those other Dixie Mafia assholes. So maybe if I talk sweet to him, he'll decide to bail on Doucette and come work for me. Assuming I can draw him out. I got something I can help you with that. That's what I wanted to show you. New Bordeaux's on a standard communication grid. So getting a system of wiretaps up and running should be fairly easy. Just install this little beauty on a junction box, and I'll be able to construct an intelligence map of the nearby area. How many more of these you got? Just those. The parts are on an agency watch list. <laughs> But if you manage to dig up more of them, we could wiretap the entire city. All right. Ah, oh, damn it! People think living under these commie motherfuckers is so great they should move their asses over to Moscow. You find more of these, you bring them to me. You are way too sensitive about that shit, man. Oh, fuck those motherfuckers. Fucking traitors. I'll see you when it's time to move against Charlie. Fun. Fuck. <laughs>
What's Four Finger got going on I at the him. church? There's all kinds of dope over at the church. If you destroy it, the boss is gonna lose a lot of money. Sweet dreams. You're dead, cocksucker. There you go. I'm gonna barbecue your ass. Gonna tell me about the dope operation. The boss has got enforcers dealing around the hall. 
That's a big help. Thanks. I've been listening in on old Charlie, and he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck. And as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, as long as he's still above ground. <laughs> Poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now, it's between Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. 
You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat. I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. not to put Charlie in charge of the heroin, but he insisted. Said he owed Charlie's old man or some shit. Ah, oh, Charlie ain't half the man his pop was. Shit. When that nigger shows his face around here, we'll deal with them. And then deal with Charlie. Fuckers out! Oh, let him have it! Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. your name for the record? Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree 
to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon, and then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. We're cleaning this place up right, thanks to you. This man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about witchy do say. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrammed me is all. You a Dixie Mafia? No, yes, I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's... He's out of the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Banned Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mama, my papa. Go on, get. He could want to do set. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay.
got a bad sense about this man. Richie needs to work. Welcome to Baron Saturday's Fun Park. We're sure happy to have you with us today. So put your troubles aside and enjoy yourself. You never know what that dirty old Baron's got waiting for you round the corner.
know you're out here somewhere. Show yourself. Come on out, and we'll make this fast. Promise.
You need, you need to run this through, boy. You think you can come in here and steal my own without nobody noticing? I'm not here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with it! I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it. None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Uh, what was I supposed to do, say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, please, please. Listen, listen, just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. You mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him. Seth's dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. Thought you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca, who wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But gestures carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a potion of the profits. 
Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. of a violent shootout at the abandoned Baron Saturday's fun park. The authorities haven't released an official tally, but sources are reporting multiple casualties. One witness claims to have seen a man... <laughs> ...the police have refused to comment on the veracity of that report. The fun park has been closed for a number of years and was once a subject of controversy for what colored civil rights groups described as racially inflammatory imagery. Come on. Problems? This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. <laughs> 